Hi, my name is Joseph Faloui. I'm the president of 3D Builders Nigeria Limited. Our company believes that the national housing deficit in Nigeria can be solved through this 3D printing technology. Hello, my name is Eric Hoofmans, COO, 3D Builders Limited, Nigeria. We believe that this technology will revolutionize the country and helps to solve the housing deficit. I'm Joe, I'm sales executive for Winsun, and we are fully support 3D builders. This is not only the future for Nigeria, but for for whole Africa. We've all seen a lot of amazing things through this digital transformation age, but nothing like what you're about to see. Welcome to Suzhou, China. My name is Joseph Faluyi, and I am the president of 3D Builders Nigeria Limited. Our company is the exclusive operator and partner to Winston Technology. Winston Technology is the pioneer of 3D printing technology in the world, period. Here, I'm gonna take you through the factory to take you on a tour to see some of the amazing structures that have been developed using this technology. Now let me show you some of the amazing products that have been developed using this uh, 3D technology. Right here where we are, you can see right here behind me, these are wall covers. They're wall panels that have been developed that are decorative and can be used on any amazing structure. What they do is that they give a different feel and look to the house. They come already decorated with different patterns as you can see. They have different patterns and there's endless possibilities in terms of what you can do with this, uh, with this product. Um, the important thing that is here to note is that the dimension of this is about one inch thick. This product is very durable and it's fire resistant. You can install it in three different ways. One is by using glue, the second is by using the cement, and the third is by using some anchor brackets. But uh, the good thing is that the system is designed and it can withstand any weather condition. It has the ability to flex, contract, and expand. Here we are with some of the amazing uh, products that have been developed by, with this technology. Here is what we call smart car. These were products that were developed for the government of Dubai and delivered on the beaches of Dubai. They're very smart, they provide electricity and Wi-Fi. So it's a congregation area where people on the beach can sit around and have connection to the rest of the world. Here's one of the houses that have been printed using the 3D printing technology. As you can see on the surface, on the outside of the building, you can see the flat panels that we just saw here a few minutes ago that have been used here for decoration on this house. This is a mini house. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom. Come, come in with me. As you can see, this building is made of solid concrete throughout the four walls. And you can see here the decorative part, which is an exposed layered print of the concrete. And the rest of the wall was flattened so that it, it becomes very suitable for printing. Here there is the bathroom, which of course is a decent sized bathroom as well. Everything printed, the ceiling is printed, and as you can see it uh, in here as well. Let me take you through another amazing building that has been built using this 3D printing technology. Come on with me. This is a two bedroom house, 130 square meter house. Uh, it has uh, two bathrooms and a kitchen. This house was printed. And if you look around here, you could also see the same thing that we've shown in some of the other structure, exposed layered prints. This is left purposefully in the house as aesthetic, just to create some sort of ambience in the house. And you can see that the rest of the wall is flattened for painting purposes. 
So here is the terrace. Um, what I want to pull your attention to is the little furniture that is out here on the terrace. That furniture was also printed using the same technology. So it can do anything and everything that you want to print as an object with the, with the technology. So here I want to get you very close so you can get a be, have a better appreciation for how this wall design is being made. You can see how this wall is printed layer by layer. So this is what the printer does is that it prints continuously and it goes over the previous print and put the second layer and the third layer and the fourth layer until the wall gets to the window level or the roofing level where you want it to get into. I wanted to pull, pull your attention to some other things here. Here are some portable bathrooms system that have also been developed using this technology. These are very good for parks, for public areas that people can use and it's all completely printed. The ceiling is printed and the whole wall is also printed. All right, let me show you this impressive edifice. This is an 1,100 square meter mansion that has been built. This house was built in three days. It was, it was printed in three days and finished in seven days. The whole house was finished in approximately 10 days. This house comprises of five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and a huge chandelier. Come on in, let me walk you through this. Before we get in, here are some of the wall coverings that we just talked about at the beginning part of this video. This house was completely printed and it was is also completely covered with the wall plates. This gives it an amazing look that any house of this caliber would really need to have. So here is the interior part of this. If you can see the drop, the ceiling drops that have been done, all that is also printed. This house is a combination of concrete and fiber and some other materials to do the different designs and the, and the architecture that you see in the, in the building. The only thing that has not been printed in this building is the staircase, the handrail. It's a combination of wood and steel. The chandelier here is another product of the technology. It has been printed. This is amazing. If this doesn't do it, then I don't know what else will. Here you can also see the exposed layered concrete. So this is also done by design just to give the inside of the house a different feel. So this is bringing outside in. And you can see the rest of the house is finished, flat, and painted. An important thing to also mention, the staircase in this building was also part of the painted product. So let me show you this at a very close range. That's the, 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 the layers, the, the, the flight of the staircase was printed and covered with the plates that we just looked at. And this is just to give it the design that makes it look amazing to the eyes and to any critique. All right, so let's take a look at some of the technical aspect of the walls for, for the construction, for printing. So this is a wall that has been printed and filled in with an insulation material. The thickness of this is about one and a half inches on either side of the insulation. And as you can see it here, it makes it extremely durable and gives it the strength that it needs to have. Here is a reinforcement that is also been used to support some of this. So the idea behind this construction is just same as traditional when it comes to reinforcement. It's still concrete and still at the end of the day, depending on the height of the building, um, and that would determine what amount of steel you have to use. 
Let me also show you this here. This shows what the wall looks like. So the wall is a two-part wall. So there's the, there's the inside layer and the outside layer. And in between those two is the zigzag concrete that has been designed specifically for conduit for electricity, communication, and any plumbing needs that is needed in the building. The average wall is about six inches uh, wide on both the external wall and the internal wall. Some sample pillars that have been designed with the same technology and you can see that the form which will be done in a traditional way using wood was already done with the concrete and the steel structure which is the reinforcement is on the inside and this just needs to be filled up with concrete to give it the strength that it, that it, that it needs. Here's another application of the wall cover. And this gives you a much closer view of what this looks like. So this is the original printed wall. And this is the layer of wall cover that has been put on top of this. So this gives an, a building the aesthetic looks that it really needs to have. And it makes it look like a million dollar mansion. Here is another feature. Another product that has been developed using the same technology. This is an eight meter tall building that has been constructed without reinforcement. This shows you the shear strength of this material. It shows you the shear strength of the product that is produced using our 3D printing technology. And you can also see the layers of concrete as it's gone and wrapped around and built in layers all the way to eight meters high. This is the first tallest building that was ever constructed using the 3D printing technology. It's a six-story building with one floor underground and the remaining overground. Here are some additional components uh, that have been constructed using the technology. This is a road divider. So for road construction, this technology can also support projects like that. It produces road dividers. It can also be used for producing curbs, which and as well as the manhole uh, for the under, uh, for the underwater pass. So here's another component that has been produced with this technology. This is a bus station. This is applicable in any metro city. Uh, wherever and anywhere in the world and it also allows for advertising in the design as well and as you can see the concrete benches for folks that are waiting for the bus to, 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 to sit. So here is another product designed with this technology. This was actually one of the products that was delivered to Dubai. This is the one of the office, many offices delivered as you can see. Let me show you what this looks like on the end side. So here's a decent sized office space uh, which can be used for anything including office um, and as you can see the entire unit was completely printed all the way around all the four walls and the roof as well. You can see that the the, the, the printed design has been exposed in this office building by design just to give it a different look from the traditional flat walls and it comes printed. The concrete was mixed up with a color that gives it the color that you see now so it was not painted after the fact. Here is another example of the power of 3D printing. You can be as creative as you want to be. 
Here is a non-rectilinear shape building, and as you can see, all the curves around this building, this was just designed, it shows creativity, and it shows the power of 3D construction printing. You can also see the staircase is suspended. This is also part of the printing product. So the printer produced this and it was installed after production. So here is another component that was also printed. So these are solid concrete pillars. They are very good for any building or for any structure for that matter. And as you can see, the feature on the middle was also a printed component as well. And these are very solid, extremely durable. They have high strength and they can support very heavy weights. Here's another amazing component that has been produced using the 3D printing technology. The chandelier here is made out of fiber. Lightweight, beautiful, and it is it adds aesthetic to this room. The furniture in the room, the chairs, and the tables are also 3D printed using the same technology. With this, this shows you that this technology has a capability that is endless.